Hey, how's it going guys? Well, I had to work on a chipper this morning, so I'm getting a late start on this truck over here, but right down there is that little primer piece there that I'm gonna be working on there. So I'm gonna try and get y'all down here. Like I said, I haven't even started this truck yet, so I'm gonna see what I got, but here's that piece. Like I said, that primer piece, what it is, there's like an O-ring inside here whenever you push this down. And so what I'm gonna do is, is uh, Put the, put this new one in there. Once I put the new one in there, I'm gonna prime it, prime the system up, make sure it's not leaking, and then I'll take and uh, see if that's where, see if that's gonna start make it where it starts. See if pretty sure that's our that's gonna be our culprit for why this is not starting. But like I said, I got my ass soaking wet this morning working on that. Working on that other truck. I'll put this in here. And like I said, right around here, like I said about the other one, it's just this is more likely this is blue. So more likely this is the original one, I would say. And then like I said, I got the new one here. This this I don't think this here was that much. It was around a hundred and hundred hundred dollars somewhere around there. It wasn't too terrible bad. But we're gonna put it. It's just an easy fix. Over on that eighteen hundred over there, I do get went and got a brand new set of blades this morning for that. But yesterday on that chipper, he he's got it for sale. Like I said, he bought it to resell it. But it's other than that, there it's a damn good chipper. We just we bought two at the auction, and we we bought another eighteen hundred, and then we bought that that chipper there as well. But the eighteen hundred was really the one we were going for. But the other chipper there, they knew Dad and him, they knew about the chipper, so we just we bought it to resell it. And then, like I said, he had a guy who was supposed to come today to look at it, and then. I had to get over this morning to get it fixed, but what happened was, I guess just from over time, over time the fuel line, they just got rusted. I think it's a 2006 or something bandit. And that's what uh, that's what happened to it. It just fuel line rusted. So I finally got new fuel lines on it, put a new fuel filter in the end line, changed the fuel filter on it, and finally got it fixed. Had to put some a uh, couple boats in the shroud and stuff. Wasn't nothing major. This thing primed up here. Okay, let's try it now here. No, oh, see if we can get it to get to crank up here. Feels like it still has a little bit of air in it. But we'll try it out here. Might not start right off the bat here, but we're gonna try it anyways. There we go. So we'll just check for leaks and stuff now. The other one, like I said, the other one it didn't leak anyways, but it only leaked whenever you, you don't try to prime it up. But it had plenty of resistance on it there. Make sure this thing here started up good. Pick up the old one here. Set on the back of the truck. But like I said, there's been a slew of stuff been breaking down. Like I said, I can't even I can't even keep up with all of it. So got this here started now. Wait till it gets back cold and then we'll let him try it out and see how that goes but yeah i'm gonna shut the hood on this here like i said i got the brand new blades brand new blades are right here in this uh in the box here i went and picked them up this morning so i'm gonna put them in out there so let me get uh let me get the tools picked up and back my service truck up and we'll uh we'll go change the blades in that chipper
you take them off, you always want to make sure you clean it all the smooth this down and then blow all the dirt out of the hose here. And just check for cracks along through here, especially along through here. And like I said, just put the new blade in there. There's all it is to it. I didn't notice on this one here. Got a crack in it. Right here has to be welded up. And then we got another one up here on this other one here. As you can see there, it's got a crack in it all the way through there. So we're gonna weld that up here in just a minute. But basically, so you just repeat the process as you go back and forth. Just start in the middle boat here. Go this one, this one, or you can go this one, then this one, or this one, or this one to this one, and just work your way out. So well, I didn't then torque them down about 210 foot pounds, but always expect a drum here for cracks. So we're gonna get all the welding stuff out here now, and then get them spots here all welded up. See, if we can't get this thing back up and going. Okay, guys. Well, I didn't get to show y'all putting all the blades in there because. Like I said, the owner, he was helping me out here, and I was just going to show y'all. You always got to inspect for cracks because there was a hairline crack right through here. And then I got that one ground down, and then I got the other one. This one right here is a pretty good size hairline crack. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it that good or not, but it's about right in here. And it goes all the way clear, all the way over to right here. I done grinded a big V out of it. I V'd it out all the way around through there. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and uh get it all welded up hopefully i can get it welded up because the rain's coming in so if i don't get a chance to you know video all this here you know i'm i'm gonna try to for y'all me welding this drum up here and i'll show you what i got going on but i'm gonna try to but usually the case of, of when you you get the big hair big cracks in every time it's usually just you know i mean these chippers they do take a pretty good a damn abuse but it's mainly just because chipping big wood that big wood is hard on them and you know this guy here you know they if it fit in a chipper they're going to chip it it don't matter what it is so i'm gonna take and get uh got every one of them like i said everyone's been torqued down everything's been good to go so all that's fine i checked all these are here all all these other ones here are good it's just them two them two there so we're gonna go ahead and weld it up and at a getting by for you know at a getting by for a pretty good long time uh, maybe you know in the future here might have to wind up getting us a new drum for this thing so and uh, I had to get a new drum for it. That's uh, that's gonna be pretty uh, pretty expensive. So let me go ahead and get all my weld leads up here and uh, see if I can't get this thing welded up real quick. Okay, guys, I got that welded up there. Uh, I just I grind it all down, veed it out, and I welded it all the way down through there. You got to grind down some because if not, you're gonna throw the balance off. So I welded it up right there. We'll see how it does. I got a little sp little thick right in here, but I can't. Uh, I can't get my little grinder back down in there, but it should be just fine. Um, so I'm going to go back over here. I got that one there done. And then this one over here, I had to weld this one. Right. All the other ones, like I said, they all look good. So and there's the other spot, like I said, where I welded this one down too. So I'm going to take and pick all my tools here up and get all that stuff picked up and see about... Uh, starting this thing up 
here's all the boats. Get y'all down here. Here's all the boats that I took off for that. And uh, we'll get these put. I'm gonna get these put back down in here, and then I'm gonna show y'all uh, one more other thing here that I had to fix earlier. knees down I didn't get a chance like I said to show y'all what all I did on this but you flip this here up and then once you flip this here up you've got this little piece right here this arm right here the boat it broke out this arm right here so I had to fix this i put a new boat on and got this adjusted here got the tension and all that stuff adjusted and that's for the winch so if you want to free spool it you just pull that back so you know if yours ain't working you might want to check the tension on the on this nut here and like i said it kind of helps control it back and forth and it was kind of out of it was actually out of place and uh i went ahead and adjusted it now so now it's falling in the right spot where it's supposed to go so um get that get this here all done and uh one more thing here like i said i'm gonna show y'all what i had to do before i wrap this video up is uh there's a boat missing right there i gotta fix this too there's a boat boat there that's missing there i gotta fix that but i was also i was walking around here looking at this thing and uh come to find out that the boats here for the motor mount here all these boats here are loose so i'm gonna have to tighten them up as well um hopefully it ain't you know mess the threads up it was low on oil so i checked oil and it got that fixed too and uh when i weld this screen here up i told him it was going to melt the paint uh but he said that'd be fine like i said because it was all hanging down there and it was a safety hazard so went and fixed that there it'll probably vibrate off again i had to do it with a stick welder and it's super damn thin so just lucky i was able to get it um able to get it to uh i got oil hanging got oil dripping down on there for somewhere so I had to figure out right there where it's leaking oil at. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the motor mounts tightened up. And I'll get this thing fired up and make sure, that, like I said, I'm going to make sure the drum ain't out of balance. Make sure it's not vibrating real bad. So let me get all this stuff here, get my tools picked up, and uh, we'll get this job here wrapped up. All right, guys. Well, I got it all started up here. I went ahead and greased all the bearings on it. Got all that stuff there done. Run the drum smooth as can be actually it feels smoother than what it was before uh before i welded on it i uh, got it now i've got change oil and stuff like that there next time i come i got some of these boats here tight uh, i got some of these boats here tight the one on the top it wouldn't tighten i know where both these here are tightened up but i think what i'm about to do is i'm about to pick the motor up and probably take those boats out and um i think there's just too much pressure on that one top one there or that or like i said they could just be seized up in there so i'll get that on the next go around but other than that there they're good to use it i got the winch fixed today so all that stuff there is done i'm going to wind it back up here in just a second so and then uh he should be good to go for the weekend so if anyone needs any questions or hopefully like i said this can help somebody if they're working on a bc 1000 i mean bc 1800 excuse me and they want to learn how to uh change the blades on it thanks again y'all